singing? What do you want? Say more. Want more? Okay. Say more. Okay. He is on some crazy energy today. Okay, okay here we go. Ready? You gotta sing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yes, that is Grayson singing his first ever song. And of course it's his favorite song, Deck the Halls, even though it's after Christmas now, it's in January, but it's all right, we're still singing it. And he's actually like singing to it, it's so cute. And he's playing in his new tent. This is what Anthony's parents got him. Well, one of the gifts is Anthony's parents got him for Christmas. It's a beetle tent. More. And he loves it. He loves playing in the tent. So it's just, it takes up a lot of the room. So I'm excited for summer because I'm just going to put this outside in the grass. But for now, it's in here. Today is my brother Philip's birthday. Sorry, I can't not record that. But today is my brother's. Philip's birthday and we're all going out and meeting uh, for dinner so I'm excited for that. Gray and I are hanging out. Anthony is back at work after the weekend. It's Monday. We need to go to the grocery store if we have time before everybody comes into town for the birthday. What? What do you want? So Gray has started to say more. He'll say more, more. Instead of just signing it. He doesn't say please, but he has started to say more. And he's starting to like sing or like group words together. Like the other day he said, Dada hat. Like daddy's hat. So, and um, the other day he said, he said, roll over. Singing with a nursery sign rhyme. So he is getting there. Like his speech is coming along. So it's super exciting to see. But yeah, just... Regular things, just gotta get through this week, and then uh, Anthony's going on another business trip, which means we are heading back to my parents' house again. Woo! I know my life is so exciting. Um, it's the day after I found out that I was pregnant, so this is day two, I guess you could say, and it hasn't hit me yet. Um, I I feel nauseous whenever I think about it, but like if I'm not thinking of it, then I don't notice it. So it's like very mild. Um, I'm hungry all the time and I'm thirsty all the time, which means I'm peeing all the time. And um, my emotions are kind of crazy. I'm like happy one second and I'm angry another second. I get very short fused with Anthony. Poor guy. <laughs> um, we haven't told anyone and I'm not planning on telling anyone tonight at this dinner because... Um, we just found out yesterday, like I want a couple days of us knowing, and I have this really cute idea of how I want to tell everyone, and, and I don't want to take away, like, it's Philip's day, it's his birthday, like, I know he probably doesn't care he's a boy, but I wouldn't want to take that away from him, so I'm going to keep it, um, quiet, but I am planning on telling my mom when we go to Toledo, because I need her help with how I want to tell all my siblings. More details to come later, but yes, yeah, so this is day two of me, I'm going to leave because I don't want to listen to Baby Shark. Day two of me knowing that I'm pregnant, it hasn't really hit me yet. For some reason, I keep thinking it's a girl, but like, I'm only four weeks along, so I don't know. I mean, there's no way I could know that. But I think it's a girl, but it could be a boy. I would be fine either way, honestly. But yeah, so I took one of the first steps and I made a call to my doctor. 
and to set up an appointment and so I do have an appointment it's at the end of this month January 28th at 3 30 I tried to get the latest appointment they had available because I want Anthony to be able to come with me he went to, with me to the first appointment and um, I'd love it if he could come with me to the first appointment just in case like if anything if they do the ultrasound and something's wrong at least I would have him there to like lean on I don't think anything's gonna go wrong, but you just never know. So it'd be nice to have him there. Is the light off? Is it spooky? So he likes turning the lights off. Spooky and on. And when he turns it off, he likes to say spooky. Spooky. Yeah, so it'd just be really nice to have him there. He said he's gonna try and take some time off and maybe do like a half day on that day. Cause it is 3.30, so if he could just work till like noon, then he'd be able to come. And then we're not quite sure if we wanna, if we should bring Grayson with us or not. Um, my brother has Mondays and Tuesdays off. Um, hence why I made the appointment on a Tuesday. So like if we wanted to leave Gray and have him come babysit, I'm sure he'd do that for us. Um, but if Anthony's coming, maybe I should just have Anthony bring Gray. I mean, he's not gonna know what's going on in the appointment. I don't know. What what do people usually do? I'll probably post this. By the time I post this, I'll probably have already gone because I'm not announcing to social media until like middle of February, which I have another plan about that. But again, details later. Um, so I, I don't know what we're gonna do. I would ask for advice, but again, it's not gonna come out until after I go. So I'll let you know what we decide. But Gray's trying to open a, his bottle of lotion, and he just did. So yeah, I'm super excited. Anthony is pumped. Um, it's just so different this time. I was actually going through and watching my last pregnancy videos, and it's just so much better this time because we actually planned this pregnancy. So like we knew it was coming. We're excited for it. The last one we like didn't plan at all. It was a accident, happy accident but we were like scared and didn't know what was coming. And now this time, like I've already been through all of this, like I know what to expect. So I just feel like the second pregnancy is so much better already. Hopefully I keep saying that. Hopefully the symptoms don't get worse and hopefully the nausea just stays like this because it's just so minimal, I can deal with it. And it goes away when I eat. And um, when I eat, like I get full super fast. So that's something that I'm experiencing. Other than that, like, I don't think I'm really experiencing anything. Oh, I have a lot of acne. Um, and it's been here for a couple days. It's like all over my face, which I don't usually get that much acne. So that is definitely something, um, which I think that's what's making me think it's a girl. Like, I think one of the um, pregnancy superstitions is like, if you have a lot of acne, then you're having a girl because the girl is like stealing your beauty away or something like that. Isn't that? I don't know. But so I think that's what's making me think it's a girl. But like, there's, I mean, there's no way to tell right now. And we won't know. We won't find out. Well, I think I'll, we'll do another gender reveal. Uh, but we won't know until, until week 20. So that'll probably be in like, I don't even know. Probably around his birthday in April or March. I don't know. So, but I'm still, I'm just over the moon excited. I'm so excited for Gray to have a sibling and to just like add to our family. And yeah, if you can't tell, I'm excited and I'm pumped. And Anthony, he's excited, but in his own way, like he's a boy and so he just doesn't really express his emotions very much. And so he's just like, oh yeah, cool, whatever. <laughs> I know he's excited. It's just, that's about as excited as he gets. So, and I keep telling Gray, like Gray, there's a baby. I keep pointing like to my stomach, like, hey, there's a baby in mommy's tummy and like he'll poke at it sometimes, but like he doesn't understand. I don't, I don't think he'll, I even think once I have the baby, he won't even understand. I mean, I don't know. He'll be almost two and a half by the time this baby is born. So maybe he'll comprehend it more, but right now, like he could care less. So <laughs> yeah, Five, but four, three, three, two, one. Should we count? One. You want to do it again? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Blast off! We did that in the street.
story time at the library today, and he is all about it. More. Five. Four. Three. dirty chimney flue just bring him through the front door that's the easiest thing to do i can see me now on christmas morning creeping down the stairs oh what joy and what surprise when i open up my eyes to see a hippo hero standing there more i want a hippopotamus for christmas only hippopotamus will do i don't like rhinoceroses i only like hippopotamuses and hippopotamuses like me too Yes, we are still singing Christmas songs. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I just realized I never closed the vlog. I wasn't able to record anything from the birthday dinner last night because Gray was using my phone to watch a show. He has not taken a nap the past two days and so he's very grumpy at dinner. So I had to put a show on for him so he would be good. But yeah, that's all for this vlog. It was mostly just me like talking, so sorry about that, but... Um, yeah, uh, stay tuned for my next video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!